Hello, dinky-doo, everyone. It's just me, Scotty McClue, widely regarded as the world's top broadcaster. It's Wednesday evening, the 26th of April, 2017, of course, and uh, it's just me, Scotty McClue, popping up for a second or two with a midweek pop-up just to see what is what. Now, so much to talk about, so little time to do it in. I'm only popping up just for a second or two to see how you all are, and uh, I thought I'd maybe run a few things past you. The first thing I'd like to say, though, is thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you right across the world globally for all your tremendous support on social media this week. We've just completed show number 31. The mainstream shows go out at 2200 hours, 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. And uh, every single one of you that has joined us, we're well into the thousands now for audience. That is very, very much appreciated. And all I can say to all of you is thank you very much. Also, a very big thank you to all of you who have provided funding for me. Um, there's two sources of funding. One is PayPal, and you will see a PayPal me five pounds floating about, Scotty McClue, PayPal me, Scotty McClue, five pounds. You will see it floating about social media. Please use that if you are in a position to do so. Also, a very, very big thank you to all of you who have gone on to GoFundMe and put in Scotty McClue and sent through some pennies for funding the show and for also funding media assets for a new future. Those of you who are quite serious about a new independent media uh, set up by my good self, Scotty McClure, with 40 years experience of tremendous success in the broadcasting industry. Neil Tipping's watching. Dinky do to you. Fantastic, Neil. Ron Stewart's watching. You're all there. It's wonderful. Thank you. That's fantastic. Hello, old friend, says Ron Stewart. Hello to you, Ron Stewart. You're somebody who has given very generously to Scotty McClue's funding project, and I thank you for that. So gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or PayPal me Scotty McClue five pounds. So there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. If you want the direct links, go on to Scotty McClue's website. Ten million people have already been on www.scotty-mcclue.com and you will see both PayPal and GoFundMe, the logos at the top there. Very, very much appreciated. And as I say, thank you very much indeed. It's just it's Wednesday evening. It's five o'clock in the evening. So you wouldn't be expecting me to pop up just a midweek pop up. While I'm on, though, I want to run an idea past you. It's just an idea. It's just a little bit of an idea that has popped up while I watch the general election unfold in front of our eyes. So um, the UK Prime Minister, Theresa May, Mrs May, has called a snap general election for the 8th of June 2017. Now, we don't know exactly why she's called an election. Some people think it's maybe a back me or sack me, something like that. Others think it's because there's a bit of a sword of Damocles hanging over one or two members of Parliament. And probably Mrs May thought it's, we'd better have an election before there um, are any proceedings or before anything unfolds about these members of parliament so that could be a reason for calling the snap election this is me hasn't actually come up and told us exactly why the snap election was called but we do know it was following a cabinet meeting so there we are that's that one anyway everybody has swung into action but one of the things that strikes me about this general election is that in england and wales and northern ireland the option is to vote for either the Conservatives or the Labour Party or the Liberal Party. Now, the both the mainstream uh, Labour and Conservative Party appear to be in huge elements of disarray and appear to be experiencing internecine warfare. Scotland is going independent, so it's going to be out of the equation. But I had another idea. 
do you feel for the future, it's too late for this particular election, but for the future perhaps we should look at a new party, an alternative form of politics, which isn't to the left or to the right or even to the centre, but is just a neutral party for independence. And it's not for independence for Scotland, because that's already covered by the Scottish government and by the leading party in Scotland. This is for independence for England, independence for Wales, independence for Northern Ireland. So you could call the party the Independence Party, because what's happening is, because of austerity, and because of disarray, and because of internecine warfare, the mainstream parties are splitting themselves apart, and the people are suffering dreadfully in this country. Apart from during the First and Second World War, because obviously any war is major, major destruction to the infrastructure of any country. But apart from the First and Second World War, there wasn't a time that British politics have been in such disarray. And particularly with Brexit, people, I think, even people that wanted to leave didn't expect Brexit. And of course, that's going to cause untold damage. And um, the ones who were singing their song about it are going to be difficult to find in the future. So, is it time to look at, and as I say, it's only a think tank, it's a it's just an idea, and that is that we look at a party, an independent party, perhaps called independence, and their job is not to break up Britain, because that's already been done by the mainstream parties there and the mainstream media. Their job is to ensure that Britain comes together, but the countries are independent, because Britain, there's no such country as Britain. And there is no such country as the United Kingdom. It's an amalgam of different countries. Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. And I think all these countries know their own culture best. We know from the lessons that we learned that Westminster and Holyrood in Edinburgh do not share a common culture. They don't share a common outlook. And I think that England has tried to hold on to Scotland, put a ball and chain round its ankle for the last 310 years, because they're frightened of losing this wonderful jewel in the crown. And that brings me round to the fact that we have a wonderful monarchy, and we have the crown. And nothing should go against the crown. Nothing should go against the monarchy. I was even advocating last week that we look at, and, and, and Scotland can definitely, definitely function beautifully without being part of Westminster. There's no doubt about that at all. And far heavier weight people than me have actually um, given us all that as pronouncement. So from that point of view, we're looking at bringing together the country. And this is the idea. The idea is that England, Scotland, as I say, will already be going independent. Northern Ireland and Wales all go independently and have their own governments and are responsible for their own assets and liabilities. But there's common ground there. There's our security, which becomes pressing in an insecure world. So you're looking at security, you're looking at shared responsibilities for defence. And things like that could be looked after if we become part of the Commonwealth. Can you see all the countries that have become independent from their colonial past? 
the protectorates, the crown protectorates, the crown colonies, independent countries, Australia and Canada, North America, New Zealand, all these countries that were part of the old British Empire. And what I think would be a great idea, because there's always confusion between, say, for instance, Scottish nationalism and British nationalism. There is no connection whatsoever. They are completely separate movements, and one is the antithesis of the other. So you could not get more different. Scottish nationalism is a healthy, healthy thing. It's been very, very good for Scotland. Scotland's never been so well run as it is now. And I think this idea of a fresh new independence party looking after England and Northern Ireland and Wales is an excellent thought. But we're all under the crown. We're all under the Commonwealth. Yes, and you can have the British Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth looks after all our respective joint and several interests. So there's an idea. It's just something to ponder, folks. Yeah, and it's just something that I thought I'd run past the people. Because obviously, so much of politics is people looking after their own interests. This idea has no agenda. It's for all of us. Yes, it's for the United Kingdom. It's for the British people. And as I say, what's breaking up Britain is things like Brexit, is things like an arrogance pushing away the separate components of our remarkable uh, relationship together. So there we go. So, so that we have this presence and this power in the world, let's look at the British Commonwealth. And it looks after the interests of Scotland and England and Northern Ireland and Wales. There's an idea for you. And we are, of course, under the wonderful umbrella of the crown. I shall, let, I shall leave that one with you now. Nancy Kelly's watching. Neil Tipping says, see you on Sunday. Uh, Derek McGonagall, do you think we'll all end up independent? I think so, Derek. Yes, I think that's the way it's going because the mainstream parties are in disarray. They are um, guilty of internecine fighting to an extent. They're losing sight of their whole raison d'etre. They're losing sight of the fact that they represent the people. They're uncertain as to who they represent. And we deserve better. We deserve better representation. We deserve more consultation. We deserve more transparency. And we deserve less arrogance. We are still the old British Empire. Therefore, what we say goes. Newsflash, that's gone. So there we are. Uh, we need your oil, says Neil Chipping. Yes, of course, but deals can be done, Neil. So there you are. And uh, we're all part of the Commonwealth, so we're going to be looking after common interests. That's the whole thing. So you'd be very welcome to our oil, but on the terms of what suits Scotland and the Scottish Government. So there we are. Uh, Andrew McDonald's watching, uh, dinky do. So there we are. Excellent, guys. Right. As I say, it's just a short midweek pop up. Do me a favor, and every single one of you, share, 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 share this as far as you possibly can. What is Scotty McClue's role in this? I'm a curator, it's curatorial. I want to leave the world a tiny, tiny, teensy, weensy bit better for us all having been in it during our lifetimes. So there we are. So that's what I wanted to do. Just a quick midweek pop up to say hi and to say dinky do. Keep funding me, please. 
just a few pounds here and there, it all makes a difference. Go on to www.scotty-mcclue.com and you will see the links for GoFundMe and for PayPal. Don't walk past on the other side, please. I beg of you, pop on and say, yep, Scotty's been informing, educating and entertaining the nation, not just one nation, but all nations, for 25 years. I can spare him a few quid. So that would be absolutely excellent. The oil is running out, says Sean Moore. Sean Moore, the oil will never run out, and certainly not in our lifetime. Those new fields could be opened up all the time, all round the coast of our country. So there you go. Do not worry, and do not listen to so-called mainstream media pushing and pushing and pushing for the interests of the mainstream media. If you want the truth, you'll get it from me, Scotty McClue. But if you're buying newspapers or watching television or listening to the radio, ask yourself, in whose interests is this broadcast? This broadcast that I'm doing right now is in your interests. And that's all. That's it in a nutshell. Right, have a wonderful, wonderful time, guys. As I say, share everything. Remember, we broadcast on Periscope. Also, YouTube, get on Scotty McClue YouTube channel, Global Broadcaster, you'll see that on YouTube. LinkedIn, come and join me on LinkedIn. That would be fantastic. Share and share and share everything that pops up in front of you. Look for Scotty McClue on all the Facebook pages. And, uh, of course, Google Plus as well. We're on there, too. So we're right throughout social media. Scotty McClue, capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, l, u, e. Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to you. Scotty McClue has left the building. ta la -las. <laughs>